This episode of Super Mario Odyssey is for your entertainment. It's made possible by the amazing support of viewers just like you. Thank you. Uh-oh. What's this? It's a giant frog cube. What's that all about? I wonder. Huh. Well. Nintendo is the author of the software the purpose of copyright. All the blah, 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 blah. It always happens. You can now travel to the Mushroom Kingdom. You might be wondering, well, Brian, what does that mean? The Mushroom Kingdom? Like Mario's home? We'll just have to wait and see. Additional power moons are in stock in the shop. Music list has been added to the map screen. And now we go to the Mushroom Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure and an honor to play through this. This particular kingdom for you. I'm not crying, I promise, but you get, get a little something, something in the eyes, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So calm, so peaceful. Like our trip to the Moon Kingdom was all a dream. But good thing it wasn't because we saved our two dear friends. That nightmare is over. Hooray for us! But I've liked our travel so much, I don't want to end our journey just now. I mean, there's still so much to do. So many hats you need to meet. And I bet we, if we collect even more power moons, we'll be able to travel somewhere new. So our trip is far from over. One more hooray, I say. But for starters, let's head up to Peach's Castle. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Mushroom Kingdom, inspired by Super Mario 64. And wow. Wowie zowie. This is a fully fleshed out kingdom. And like experiencing this for the first time is something very magical for someone like me who has played through uh, Super Mario 64 quite a few times, especially when it first came out. There's 100 purple coins around here. Uh, lots to take in. Luigi, hello, Luigi. We're not going to talk to you just yet because he's number two. We've got to bother with him. But we're going to go talk to Luigi in a little while. Uh, that is a shop that is available. There's a ton more costumes available now as well. We are going to get a ton of coins. That way we can go to the shop and see what that's all about. Um, this is the area up here that I didn't want to spoil, and I'm very glad I didn't go and see it the first time uh, I could have seen it. So, you know, when you go into a painting and you go to a new world, that is um, the entrance for that painting that you can see the Mushroom Kingdom. So I didn't see that the first time playing through. When I saw this kingdom, I saw this at 7.30 in the morning after I'd beat this entire game in one sitting, and I was like, no way. No way they're doing this. No way. This is amazing. So I was just in awe at this section of the game. And I was totally, totally taken back. Like, how, why would they do this? There's no way this should exist. Like, this is just pure fan service. And it looks so, so beautiful. Uh, you're going to plant uh, the seeds, obviously, up in here. Um, and it's very reminiscent of Super Mario 64 in a ton of ways. So we're going to go and grab this seed over here, too. And there's two small touches. Three, actually. I'd say three. Three touches to this area that I just love. So I'm going to go and get us the first moon. Now, you chase the rabbit just like you do in Super Mario 64 DS. Uh, you chase a little rabbit around the courtyard in order to get yourself a power star. So they have a rabbit over here. Um... In Super Mario 64 DS, there are gardens like this as well, so this is very much inspired by that. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, probably my second favorite thing about this kingdom in general, and this only happens in this kingdom and in one piece of hint art that you can get for this kingdom that uh, does happen eventually. So this guy is starting to get tuckered out here. Let's go chase after him. I know. Come on, buddy. You can't go on forever. And come on, come on, stick with me, buddy. Stick with me. Look at this. The moons in this kingdom are the power stars from Super Mario 64. I nearly freaked out and woke up my mother when I was playing this. I was playing in the living room because I want to play at my office by myself. But like the star, the star here. Oh, man. You know what the best part of it is? It makes the same noise as it does in 64. So, that was awesome. Apparently, Power Moons come in other shapes I had no idea. So, that is partially why I thought, hey, uh, Moons could come in other shapes. How about a Shine Sprite from Super Mario Sunshine, right? 
I don't know. So the only two shapes are for uh, uh, shine star, uh, shine sprites, uh, stars and moons in this game. There are no shine sprites right now. If not announced, Super Mario Odyssey DLC. If they do, you bet your butt I'm going to play it. But they have not announced anything as of right now. Uh, we have 22, going to be 25 uh, coins right now. So I don't know how many we need in order to access the shop, but um, rather I mean to just go and get what we want out of the shop here. So I definitely want to do that first. Um, I don't think there are any other coins in the immediate area here. Or there's actually two more up here. I don't think that matters. I think, you know what? Let's go for the shop and let's see if we have enough to do what we want to do here. Oh, there's three more down there. That probably helps. Okay. Activate this. Peach's main castle entrance is unlocked right there. So all the purple coins are obviously in this main area. Well, they're not obviously all in the main area. Most of them are. We have a third of them already. So uh, you do need quite a few coins for this area. Um, there are a lot of stickers that you can apply to the Odyssey. So uh, everything really has inspiration from a previous Mario game. Like obviously down here you have Dory. And there's some purple coins on her, so I'm probably going to go and snag those real quick. And this is really one of the main areas that's like basically like a playground. Like you can go around and just kind of do whatever and test out moves and just really just have fun. And the really cool part about it, and this is how I am with games in general, I like when everybody is together. You know, all my friends are together, family and whatnot. So this area eventually becomes an area where all sorts of different types of people, uh, characters from the game, from all the different kingdoms, they will all convene into this area. So it's really cool. That's why I, I really like it. So um, that's what I like about the Mushroom Kingdom specifically. So we're going to go and cash in, or rather just go and plant this uh, seed over here. And there's also, there's so much to do here. Like this could be like an entire... The, the, I mean, this is an entire video in itself, but this could go on for quite some time. So we're going to do uh, a couple power moons. I'm going to show you uh, the rough basics of all the different areas here, and we'll take it from there. But now, we'll go plant this seed. Um, there's just lots to do. I think this is the biggest kingdom uh, moon-wise, or star-wise. It might be. It might be second to the Sand Kingdom, maybe, but I don't know for sure. So now let's go down to the um, the store here. Actually, there's a lot of really cool things about this area, not just the three things I was talking about. Um, those two of them being the power stars and the um, the noise it makes. So you go into the shop here. Now you may be thinking, Brian. Well, what could possibly be a pop, 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 possibly like like Donald Duck? Like, um, what could possibly be offered from uh, this store right here? Well, first of all. Let's go check out uh, this star right here. We'll buy a power star. So now you can buy 10 of them, which can max out your um, your total for uh, the Odyssey. And you can get all the way up to 999. But we're not going to do that. So let me just show off all the different caps that are available now. So we have, obviously, the fashionable cap. I'm just going to scroll through them all. There's way too many. This one is based on the one from uh, Mario Bros., the, uh, the multiplayer arcade game. Uh, just a skeleton suit. Makes Mario look like a skeleton. The Luigi cap. Um, and these are the ones they've added uh, afterwards as DLC. So you can get the Sunshine Shades, the Sunshine Outfit. Musician Outfit like we saw in the Metro Kingdom. The Knight Helmet, which is based off of the... Um, oh, the Kingdom. The, 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 the With Smog. I forgot the name of the Kingdom. I'm an idiot. That's the... Um, uh, the, 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 the Ruin Kingdom. Ruin Kingdom. I got the guide right here. That's why. Um, St Satella View Helmet. Uh, that's based off of an advertisement, I think. Uh, same thing for Batting Helmet. Some of the brutal hats, the brutal outfit is here for Topper. Uh, racing Helmet, uh, Rango Hat, so he's not Canadian Corn Farmer. His name is Rango, but you know what I mean. Uh, a near-perfect replica of Rango's hat, except for the awesome saw blades and trampoline capability. Sigh. So, love the... Uh, the uh, what's it called the uh, descriptions here we're gonna be getting all of these and showcasing them inside of a, uh, a video but not right now because we don't have all of them available um, but now we go into my favorite outfit in the entire game you can wear the Super Mario 64 outfit just like you could back in the day and it's great so gonna equip that now in the Mario 64 suit 
of course. So, you wear those two in conjunction together. Uh, let's see. A charmingly blocky version of a classic, and when you just want to wrap yourself in nostalgia, I do all the time. So, gonna get that Mushroom Kingdom sticker. This one actually goes right on the front of the Odyssey, right above the doorway. Um, and all of these different, uh, uh, stickers here go on there as well. So, you have the hat, you have the, uh, the overalls, and I thought, wow, that's really cool. But the real coolest part of this whole thing that I didn't realize at first, your head actually turns into the Mario 64 character model down to a T. And it looks amazing. It looks so good. It looks so good in the lighting for Mario Odyssey. Oh, man. This just looks so good. It looks amazing. And it's really low... You know, uh, graphics-wise, like the, the the polygon, even the texture on his eyes and the mustache is, like, totally super low. Um, how do I... Um, what am I doing here? I want to... Oh, you know what I need to do? Oh, I'm saving a video. Duh. Uh, I meant to do this. You can go into photo mode. I didn't even realize this. You press down on the D-pad. Uh, you can do that uh, very often, but you can see a real close-up of the character model here. Let's turn the display off here. You can just see how blocky it looks, and it's very authentic to what it was in Super Mario 64, and I love it. That's actually a pretty cool picture. Pretty cool picture. So um, you can take screenshots like this. Uh, there's tons of different filters you can apply on here, obviously. You can tilt the camera if you want to, uh, add vignettes, different color effects, make some dank memes if you want to. They've added a couple since uh, uh, when I first played the game, so this is, I think, a new one. Uh, lots of really cool ones. Uh, these are like Game Boy filters, Game Boy Color. Um, that's like a gold coin sort of filter that's really cool. This one's really awesome too. Um, and you got normal. So cool. You can't apply them to the actual game as you're playing, but the photo mode is really awesome. So now, one of our final objectives technically is to go up to Peach's castle and see what's going on up here. Because, well, Peach definitely, uh, you know, she needs our, our help in some capacity probably. Uh, awful news, Mario. Princess Peach has gone missing again. Are you kidding me? Really? She packed her suitcase, happy as can be, and walked off. We can't find her anywhere. Where is she? So Princess Peach is gone. I wonder if she's visited any of the other kingdoms and we can go after her. I recognize that music from somewhere. I don't, I don't, I don't remember where. Yeah. Classic Super Mario 64 Peach's Castle music. Remixed for Mario Odyssey, and that's amazing. And hello, Toadette. How you doing? This is the first time seeing Toadette. And what's really awesome about Toadette is she actually has a function compared to um, most of the other games. She has a function in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. But let's just take, take a look at her. Take a look at her. Hiya, Mario. Looks like you're on another big adventure. That's great. Well, thank you. I hope you don't mind, but I've been traveling the world and keeping track of your achievements, you stalker. Okay. I've also got power moons to give you as rewards for those achievements. Oh, and hey, you've already completed Rescue Princess Peach. Congrats. So now, this is where you kind of sit back, right? Um, you will get a ton of achievements every time you um, go and visit Toadette. These are all of the achievements in the game. You can see them right here. Collect 8-bit power moons. Uh, some of them we probably have done already, like collect power moons from taking notes. Um... Let's see, meet up with Captain Toad five times. Uh, meet up with Princess Peach as she travels the world. That actually, um, there's Princess Peach in every kingdom. So we're actually going to visit her as part of our second go around here. So some of them, yes, we have gone already, but a lot of them we need to make a ton of progress on. Like, um, dig up uh, power moons by ground pounding. A lot of them we will get just as we go along on our journey here. Um, we'll be right here. So there are a ton of achievements probably. Yep. We got that power moon knight. So she will just keep racking up achievements. Uh, or you will keep racking up achievements as time goes on. And you can basically keep tapping A right of here. Right here. And you will just keep getting moon after moon after moon. And I believe the first time I played the game, I got like 30 moons. Like right at the gate. Just from my journey so far. So uh, we won't be doing that right now. Because there's just a ton. We're going to explore a little bit more of the Mushroom Kingdom, and then coming back, hopefully eventually, to, uh, uh, probably eventually, 
to see more of what Toadette has to offer us. Another piece of hint art here. The easiest one in the game, in my opinion. A lot of people couldn't figure this one out, but this one is very, very easy. Uh, we'll get to that, uh, actually, in the next episode. So, the way the structure of the videos is going to go is after we check out a little bit more of the um, Princess Peach uh, mu uh, Mushroom Kingdom here, um, we will go back and do the Cap Kingdom, Cascade Kingdom, all back, like one after another, and eventually come back here and complete this even more. And as well, we're going to find out right here what uh, happens with Luigi. So, let's go over to uh, another secret of Super Mario 64, if you had seen previous videos I'd done. Um, I mentioned that there is a reward for completing Super Mario 64. How many stars are there in Mario 64, you may ask? Well, 120. Which makes it look like, wow, there's like eight times as many moons as there are stars in Mario 64. So, yes, you're right. So now, what do you get when you go and get 120 stars in Super Mario 64? You get the wing cap in the courtyard, and you're able to go to the back of Princess Peach's castle. And who's waiting there for you? None other than Yoshi. He is waiting on top of Princess Peach's castle. He will give you 99 lives. Now, the lives don't carry over every time you play the game. Like, you have to actually go back and talk to him every single time. Maybe like, Brian, how do we hatch Yoshi? You just boop him on the shell, and there you go. So now, this is Yoshi. We will be using him for a lot of the missions in the game, but this is the first time you encounter him, and he is awesome. Why didn't we use him sooner? I have no idea. You can become Yoshi. You don't ride Yoshi, but uh, he wears the cappy hat. He's got the eyes on the mustache, and he plays really well. So one of the missions in the game, uh, by the way, he cannot touch water, um, is you go and collect these fruits just like you do in Super Mario World. If you collect X amount of fruits, that will hatch a, uh, a moon. So... You'll find a ton of these around this area here. I believe you get two or three moons just from collecting the um, the various fruit. So make sure you go and do that. But um, this is Yoshi. He's awesome. He plays extremely well. And it, it's very reminiscent of Super Mario Galaxy 2 where you couldn't actually play as Yoshi or unlock Yoshi in the first game. But the second game involved him heavily. So maybe in Super Mario Odyssey 2, they'll involve Yoshi a lot more. To me, there's no reason why Yoshi shouldn't have been in here, like, not from the beginning, but earlier. I think that would have added a much bigger dynamic to a lot of the levels and made them play a lot better and in a lot more cool ways. So hopefully, if they ever come out with a Super Mario Odyssey 2 or DLC, we'll be able to use Yoshi. Um, I know for a fact if they do a Mario Sunshine DLC or, like, a Mar Delfino Island uh, DLC pack, and there's one star that's going to appear right here. There you go. Um, there is a section you can use Yoshi, so he'll probably be available on Dif da uh, on Delfino Island. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. And uh, you may be wondering, as we're wandering around here, what some of these uh, uh, pillar things are. If I can just grab these fruit real quick here. He can, like, stick to walls, too. He's really weird. There's no, like, time limit on that. He just sticks to walls. So that's, that's a thing, too. Um, and he can climb up onto, like, walls like that, and ledges, like, that just, just kind of happens. So, uh, lots of interesting stuff with Yoshi. He can obviously go into a, a, a river like that, but he can't go into actual water. You can't, uh, swim around with him, so, yeah, just keep that in mind. There's our second power star right there. Or, I'm sorry, moon. So he's saying power star now. Yoshi's second helping. So I believe he gets three stars out of, uh, all of them here. And basically, in the Mushroom Kingdom, you combine, uh, or you get to take part in all the various different things you've done throughout all the kingdoms. So, you know, uh, getting that that Goomba chick, you know, making sure she meets the love of her life, all that sort of stuff. Like, you get to see a little bit of everything. So, it's really cool. Uh, like I was saying before, you may be curious what those um, towers are all about. So, the idea is that you can go and revisit a lot of the boss battles, if not actually all of the boss battles. Can I get this one coin, please, and thank you. You can actually leave as Yoshi, as Mario, come back, and there he is right there. Um, yeah, you may be curious, like, you know, how, how much more difficult can they be? They are fairly not that much more difficult, but let's say we want to go inside of here just to showcase which one this is. And uh, you'll know you completed it because uh, the thing will stay open. You jump into a boss battle 
just like you would a painting in Super Mario 64. And we're not going to do one right now because that does take a little bit of while and I want to show off other things, but uh, we will come back and do these all eventually. Um, but it does make the same noise when you enter a painting. It goes like, ha 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 ha. It doesn't do the let's let's pickle thing, but it does the da -na 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 -na. so it's pretty cool. So um, yeah, that's that. Yoshi despawned. So what we can do is go and cash in our power moons as they are. Um, there are lots of moons in this area. Um, lots of those towers to go in and explore. Also, uh, is there anything over here? There probably is, right? Yes, there is. A little bit of a shortcut to get all the way to the other side here. Um, there's like an area for the sheep that was way back over there. Watch out in those woods. It looks very dangerous. It's not that dangerous. So there aren't any like hidden sections like the deep woods or anything like that. This is basically it. Um, but the fact that you can go into these warp pipes that you can go, you know, face off against enemies and all that stuff. Uh, it's really cool. So let's go get ourselves this note right here. And basically probably the easiest one in the game. You just run around in a circle. And I think that's it, right? That is it. Oh, no, you come back out. Okay. I think that's one of the only times that actually happens. So that's pretty interesting. Now, you also may be saying, hey, Brian, uh, how, how often are you going to use the uh, Mario 64 outfit? Um, all the time. Yeah, it's pretty much going to be the only outfit we use for the entire second half of the game. You may be like, Brian, that's really boring. You shouldn't do that. You're not my mom. Okay, I can do what I want. And even my mom would be like, hey, you know, you do whatever you want. So, you know, that's a thing there. Um... It's just really cool. So we're going to use the Mario 64 outfit. Um, yeah, let's go cash these in and see what else we're going to do. Because, yeah, I want to do all the kingdoms basically all over again. Toadette is hard work at the castle. Or she's hard at work at the castle, I should say. So here we go. Um, Odyssey needs 83 more moons. I wonder what those 83 moons would be for. I don't even know. But we're going to cash these ones in right now. So every time you contribute to the uh, Odyssey... The balloon does get bigger. New products added to the shop. Every time you collect some moons, you will get access to more items in the shop. We're going to head off to another kingdom here. Um, just to show you what the menu looks like. So, Mushroom Kingdom, technically the first kingdom. But uh, we're going to start with Cap, King Cap, kingdom, Cap Kingdom again. We have 180. So, uh, Moon Kingdom is the last kingdom ever. That's a lie. But we're going to get there eventually. But for now, we're going to back out. Next time I see you lovely people of the internet. We are going to go back to the Cap Kingdom. I'm going to show you what is different that time around. Maybe some new outfits for us to get, more coins to collect, and all that happy jazz. So I want to thank you for listening and watching to the first part of the Super Mario Odyssey uh, videos. And before I actually leave, I'm going to show you what uh, Luigi does, or at least tell you what Luigi does, because we haven't seen Luigi the entire game. So Luigi is uh, doing Luigi's Balloon World. And I kind of messed up the um, the name of the, the mode right there. Have I seen that outfit somewhere before? Technically, no, because Luigi was not in Super Mario 64. So, anyway, looking good, bro. So, uh, we saved Princess Peach, but, but enough of that. He's just totally disregarding everything we just did. So, Balloon World is a game where you can search for balloons hidden by people all over the world. Well, you should know that if you play, your high score, nickname, and profile icon will show in other people's games. Want to collect to connect to the network? Not right now. So basically, you go and hide a balloon, and you accumulate coins every time you do it. More if you do it all in a row, etc., etc. So we're going to explore that in an entirely separate videos for each kingdom because there's different hiding spots for different balloons, and some people cheese it a little bit. We'll get to it. But for right now... We are going to go back to the Cap Kingdom, show you what's different around there, and do our very best to collect as many moons as possible to continue our journey in Super Mario Odyssey. So it's been my pleasure and honor to play this game in the uh, first story mode for the first time as we uh, dance off a little bit here. And that is Jump Up Superstar. We're going to figure out a little bit more about that very soon. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you lovely people of the internet very soon. Thank you for listening and watching as always. Catch you next time. Bye. There in a flash, you could say my heart. What's oh, the Japanese version? Oh, zoom on the way to the moon in this great, wide, wacky world.